Mark, what more can you tell us? Well, USA Today is reporting that Freeze made a call to a area code 313 number on January 19th, 2016. They're saying that that phone number was connected to a female escort service that was advertised on a website. I actually talked to Hugh, uh, to, uh, Hugh Freeze about this last week. He denied calling the service, said it was a wrong number. Uh, USA Today said that uh, Freeze resigned shortly after the university said it would provide the newspaper with a written statement about the phone call. So can you speak to the timing of this then? I mean, it's bizarre. He was at SEC Media Days last week in Birmingham, um, confronted allegations or uh, speculation about his job security and future there. It's only six weeks before Ole Miss is scheduled to open the season against Alabama. Uh, Ross Bjork, the athletics director and the chancellor at Ole Miss, have both stood behind uh, Hugh Freeze over the last two years while his program was under NCAA investigation. If you remember Ole Miss back in February, self-imposed a bowl ban for this coming season after they received a new notice of allegations from the NCAA that accused Freeze of, of failing to monitor his staff and also accused the university of a lack of institutional control. So clearly something has transpired in the last few days to, to, to make uh, – you know, to, to make Ole Miss lose faith and, and, and freeze.